Many people see Minecraft as an innocent game for children, and they'd be right to a certain extent. But the truth is, Minecraft players are actually hardened criminals. Yeah, that tree you're breaking down, that's actually illegal without a permit. Oh, and that loot you're stealing from the ruined portal? Yeah, that's considered stealing from public property. You thief! A traditional Minecraft playthrough will lead you to commit far more crimes than you might expect. And in the case of my friend and I, we ended up getting sentenced to over 4,000 years in prison, or the equivalent of 25 life sentences. That makes us the 16th highest charged criminals of all time. All for just playing Minecraft. The way we got that much prison time was actually kind of hilarious. I would say it was a combination between stupidity... Oh, I hit a baby. Wait, what? And... Alright, you guys are my slaves now, so give me some pearls. Yeah, probably just stupidity. Because when we loaded up the world, we didn't actually realize how many illegal things we were doing. Oh, my mans! Walkie sl you ready to beat the game? <laughs> hey! Bro, that's- Bro, stop! Okay, wait a minute. I think destroying a tree is a crime. I, can't, I don't think we can do anything. Bro, for real, I feel like just standing here, we're committing a crime. 30 seconds after spawning into the world, my friend and I had already committed one count of assault, two counts of illegal logging, and... Oh, um, yeah, just standing in the world in the first place is also a crime. Indecent exposure. Uh, you can't walk around and stand in public naked. For those of you who didn't know that. So, we were already on the hook for five years in prison, but things were about to go on to a whole nother level when we spotted a village in the distance. Okay, you know stuff's about to go down at this village. How do we even approach this? <laughs> Would it be trespassing if you, like, win? Oh, yeah, the second we walk in, it's trespassing, and then we want to try to go get the loot. What's up, bro? You mind if we come in? Go fuck yourself. Hey, he That's said yes! Oh, hey, fuck! Bro, I didn't mean to hit you! I did not- Bro, you want some bread? I do want some bread. You know I'm taking this bed too. Alright, getting up to stealing. Oh. Yo, you guys did not see anything. Just just look away. Are you serious, my brother? Yeah! Oh, what's wrong, buddy? You rolled up all tough. Now look at your dumb ass. Okay, that's probably first degree murder. Okay, I need some more stone. So back to this house I go. You know, why go underground when you could just absolutely destroy a villager's house? In the five minutes we were in this village, we had committed Oh my god, this is a lot. Two counts of first degree trespassing, one count of aggravated assault, five counts of breaking and entering, two counts of first degree murder, two counts of vandalism, two counts of robbery, two counts of illegal possession of a weapon, yes, we're not legally allowed to carry swords, and four counts of armed robbery. And all of that landed us with 222 years in prison, plus two life sentences. Yeah, we weren't even five minutes into this playthrough, and we are already in the top 50 for the highest charged criminals of all time. With this level of criminal activity, we are already considered the worst humanity had to offer, but oh boy. Yeah, this was only the surface level of what was to come. There's another village! Brother, come here! Okay, this, this village is looking promising. Finding this second village was definitely a unique situation, because on one hand, we were really excited to get all of the juicy loot and resources from it, but on the other hand, our criminal record was definitely going to take a big hit after this one. See, every single house you walk into in that village, we were going to catch breaking and entering charges. But since it was at night, the charges are way more hefty. Instead of 10 years in prison, it's 20. Why? Why would that be a thing? Lawyers in the comments, please enlighten me on this phenomenon. But then on top of that, if we took anything from a house, we were gonna get hit with robbery charges. But not just basic robbery charges, which only hold like a three to five year prison sentence. We were gonna be hit with armed robbery charges because we were carrying swords. So every house we walked into in this village was gonna hold about a 40 year prison sentence. And let's just say we robbed a lot of houses. Alright baby, let's go! Get this loot! Um, oh, a smoker. You know what? Stealing home appliances, not a problem. Oh, another chest? Bread? Hey, I got pants and, and shoes. How did you find this before me? No! Bro, I'm, I'm out here half naked. Beat him up, beat him up. I'm robbing this guy's change. Five emeralds. We making it out of the trenches. Oh, this guy's sleeping. Get your ass out of the bed. I'm taking this. Have a good day. You got some armor already, my boy? Yes, I am, bro. 
This is when we started to fully realize that literally everything we did in this game was going to be considered a crime. Even the animals I killed for food, that was technically illegal because I didn't have a hunting and fishing license. But while we might have been qualified for the FBI's top 10 most wanted criminals list by now, our Minecraft playthrough was actually going pretty good. We had just found two villages, we had a decent amount of loot, and my friend Carl had just spotted a ruined portal. I see a ruined portal? Wait, where are you at? Where are you at? I am at two, like about 300, 250. Oh, this is a cracked another portal. Can I make that water jump? All right, I can. Bro, bread is so bad with saturation. No, no, I almost went down that hole, bro. God, this takes Ow. so long to break. <laughs> it takes like 90 God. seconds. Here, I'll start. I'll start cooking dinner right now. Jesus, <gasps> you broke it! Yes, finally. Bro, this has got to be the fastest I've ever made it to the Nether. For two bad Minecraft players like Carl and myself, lighting up another portal 20 minutes into a Minecraft playthrough was a pretty big deal. So we were pretty excited about that, but it also came at the cost of some more prison time. See, ruined portals, shipwrecks, any other structures similar to those are technically public property owned by the government. So us walking into that ruined portal was first degree trespassing. And then us stealing loot from the chest. Yeah, that was going to be stealing from public property. Oh, and we also defaced the portal. Doug, don't go in the nether yet. We're kind of underprepared. Bro, I'll be fine. No, you say this every time and you die. Oh, we spawned right next to a bastion. Oh my god, you're gonna die. This is bridge, bro. <laughs> oh, that's so many- that's so many brutes! Oh, you stupid. While Carl was busy throwing half of our progress into the bottom of a lava lake and catching another count of first degree trespassing, I was actually being productive, gathering food, resources, but after this ordeal, we decided it was probably best to regroup and get a little bit more gear before going back into the nether. Okay, since we can't find a cave, we're, we're mining in this underwater one. Look at the drown, bro. Hello? Ah, what the f- IRON! It's in the worst spot too! Wait, can I reach that? Oh, I can reach one piece. Float down to me. Come to Papa. Wait, what? Bro, it's a trident drown. Oh my Wait, no. Ow! Kill her. Ah! 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 Dirty dank little hole. Where you fucking come I'm stuck! This game's fu- <gasps> I'm on one heart. Come on, kill it! Come on, kill it! <laughs> Woo! Okay. How the heck did we survive that, yo? All right. Come through. Come through my door, man. I'll come through your door, bro. Any day. Oh, it's a nice cozy spot. All right. Uh, I need some more stone to make furnaces. Do we have any fuel at all? I can go get some right now. Go, 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 go. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. We already got a record, bro. Oh, this is such a broken entrance. Oh, look at this. This is like top tier security, bro. I mean, look at it, bro. <laughs> Did you just bludgeon me with Don't that pickaxe? While gearing up to go to the nether again, we had a few more run-ins with the law. Apparently it's illegal to mine ores that you find in the earth because that's property of the government. And then also our hidey hole that we made in the cave, that's also illegal because we're modifying public land. Like I said earlier, everything you do in this game is a crime. Oh, and then I can't forget Carl's assault and assault with the deadly weapon charges. All right, let's go to the nether, my boy. Oh my God, that is a lot. We've tried- Oh! I'm gonna iron golem then. You gotta get lower, I'm pretty- <laughs> I was about to swing, Jesus Christ. Bro, help! Oh my fault, I spaced out. Yo, Pierre! Run! You wanna come out here? Bro, block trap him. That didn't work! Beat his ass, yo! Ah! I got him. Block. Oh, Lord. oh, that's so scary. Ah! Get on blocks, get on blocks. No! Just, just run, just run, just run, just run. He'll come over to me, maybe. Yes, there you go. You're gonna learn to do what I tell you to. What? Is there some loot at the there bottom of- Oh, there is. There's there's some good stuff at the bottom of this, right? Yeah, there is. Oh, the brutes are gonna be so annoying. I just don't know if there are any at the bottom level. <laughs> oh god. Okay, you should be good there, right? Should I jump down? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Dude, what are you doing? No, oh. Saving your life is what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I'll take care of the magma games. Bro, tell me not. That was some superhero type shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah. You got too much dip on your chill. Okay, maybe not superhero, but, but still pretty cool. All right. What's in this chest? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. So Carl and I made it out of that bastion as rich men. But oh my goodness, our criminal record was taking another hit. First of all, we trespassed on their property again, and we did a bit of vandalizing, and... Oh yeah, we also killed nine piglin brutes, which are all considered first-degree murder. Oh, and then we also stole 82 and a half million dollars worth of gold from the middle of the bastion. But while we had just practically murdered a village of native species, as well as committing the fifth largest bank heist in history, at least we had enough gold blocks to trade with the piglins now. Like, we're gonna get so many pearls. 128 ingots, and I get no pearls. You guys saw Suck. Like, you actually suck. So after getting absolutely fleeced by these piglins, we had no other choice but to go find more gold blocks. I don't know if these piglins had a personal grudge against us, but they were not budging. And I'm sure murdering their friends didn't put us on good terms to negotiate. Finding more gold blocks was going to be time consuming because bastions are complicated and dangerous. And it didn't help at all when I had a teammate who wasn't exactly keen on pulling their weight. Okay, Carl, we have to find more gold. Bro, I'm tired. I want to play Roblox. Boy! Get off Roblox! K2 suppression is insane. Uh, oh my god. Oh, let's watch this TikTok. This is every hidden gold block in Bastions. Alright, so first up we got the treasure bastion. Oh! Oh my god! There's actually gold blocks here. I can't believe TikTok was actually helpful. <laughs> Alright, we back in business, boys. After my extra efforts to get more gold, the piglins finally gave in. And we got our pearls. And then shortly after, we spotted another fortress, and we got our blaze rods. Oh, quick correction on that. I got the blaze rods. Carl was too busy dying. <laughs> Carl, no! <laughs> Bruh. Despite all of the hiccups that went on in the nether, we had made it out of there with everything we needed, and we now had a prison sentence of over 3,000 years. Yeah, we did a lot of bad things in the nether. Literally too many to count. If you want to read all of the charges on screen, pause the video. With our criminal record reaching astronomical levels, it was time for us to finally locate the stronghold and slay the dragon. All right, are we going in the, are we still on our line? Perfect. All right, let's go. What the fuck? What? How, how did you get access to command? What no, we are not playing these games today. Hey, look at our teamwork. Don't do it. <laughs> Bro, Christ, he's running away from me. I wonder why. We're literally like burning them alive. <laughs> Oh wait, okay, shears, boom. Alright, hit him with the fire ass. Okay, I think PETA might actually hunt us down now. We're never yeah, seeing no. the light of day again. Do you want to grab some extra beds? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I hit a baby. <laughs> On the way to the stronghold, Carl and I had committed so many counts of animal cruelty that we made the Tiger King look like a decent person. We also committed a few more counts of breaking and entering, trespassing armed robbery, and yeah, Carl did hit a kid. But despite having nearly a 4,000 year prison sentence, that wasn't the main concern. The main concern was not being able to find this damn stronghold. So are we not in the right spot? Uh, let's just stick down. Carl, God damn it. Uh, I don't think we're in the right spot, my man. Boy, are your spidey senses tingling, bro. My spidey senses are tingling, uh, behind me and down a little bit. Okay, let's go that way. They're really tingling. Oh yeah, my spotty senses are tingling as well, bro. My spotty senses are telling like we're right above it. It's like a few blocks to the left. A few blocks to the left? <laughs> <gasps> yes, finally we found it. After Carl outright used a hacked client to help us find the stronghold, which by the way, I did not know he had installed until this point. We were finally one step away from killing the dragon. But our problems didn't end here. After catching a few more counts of vandalism and first degree trespassing, Carl told me this. Oh, I'm missing one eye. You're fucking trolling. Huh, that's weird. I'd say it's impossible because I gave you 15 eyes of Ender and not one of them broke on the way to the stronghold. So where the hell did they go? Wait, can you set your respawn point right there? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was 100% convinced that this man was trolling me, but after inspecting his inventory, I couldn't find blaze powder. Where the hell would that be? Like, it's impossible that that stuff got lost. I see. Carl told me after the fact that he thought he crafted enough eyes of Ender for the portal, but when he was done crafting them, he didn't want to be stuck with a full inventory. And so, instead of throwing a more useless item out of his inventory like dirt, stone, string, he decided to toss the rest of the blaze powder into the lava pit. You know, this is why I wanted to study psychology, because I just really want to understand what drives people to act this STUPID- I ended up catching another count of first degree murder for murdering Carl, but we ended up getting our missing blaze powder back through totally legit means, and before you know it, we were in the ender. 
Alright, let's get it. I'm about to see a death message in chat. <laughs> Creeper the crowns died. Yeah, I have two endermen on my ass, bro. I'm gonna die. <laughs> get in the water, get in the water. Where, bro? Oh. Can you kill them for me? I can not purchase. He purchased. I gotta go, man. <gasps> Carl, oh, you're gonna man. You get back here within five minutes, right? I am literally in the end right now, bitch. Oh, that was a nice shot. Carl, you get another chance. My stuff here? Dude, is all of it gone? It's burnt, bruh. Oh my god, bro. So that went about as terribly as it could have gone. But in addition to that, we also committed some more crimes. First one was illegal possession of explosives. The second we entered the end dimension, all of the beds in our inventories immediately became classified as explosives. Because then a certain someone used it to kill me. Despite having absolutely no gear left and feeling absolutely demoralized, we were still determined to beat this dragon. <laughs> Albeit with help from cheats. Alright, if we're cheating, we're cheating the right way. 54? Nice typing. Yeah. 50 oh, I just didn't want to do a whole stack because that felt like cheating. Oh, shit. Oh, there he is. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, shit! Jeez, bro. I know. Like... Get the final hit, Carl! <laughs> bro! <laughs> I stole the kill! Oh, when everything was set and done, I calculated our prison sentence to be 4,272 years plus 25 life sentences, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was higher. Literally, this was so hard to keep track of. Also, something else that I found out while calculating all this stuff was that we owe $5.6 million to the federal government. Yeah, I don't think AdSense is gonna cover that. And after the dust had settled, Carl and I went to where we belonged most, a dirty ass prison cell. Well, my boy, Carl, it's been an honor, but we are probably stuck in this the rest of uh, our lives, so. Oh, I've got to go now. Government agents are currently at my door. I have a court date, but y'all better be subscribed to help me pay my bail.